Hello everybody, this is Mika Seppele. Number sequences which are always either increasing or always decreasing are called monotonic. It turns out that monotonic sequences have always limits if these sequences are bounded. This is an important fact and in this video I will explain why that is the case. A sequence A1, A2, A3 and so forth is called increasing if An is always at most An plus 1 for all n. That is if these numbers An grow as n grows. Likewise, the sequence A1, A2, A3 and so forth is called decreasing if An plus 1 is always at most An for all n. That is if these numbers get smaller as n grows. Let us consider for an example the sequence consisting of numbers n minus 1 divided by n and now n starts from 1 and goes to 2, 3 and so forth. Here the general term a n is n minus 1 divided by n and uh, to figure out whether this sequence is decreasing or increasing we consider the difference a n plus 1 minus a n. If the sequence is increasing, this difference is non-negative. If it is decreasing, this difference is non-positive. Anyway, since a n is n minus 1 divided by n, a n plus 1 is n plus 1 minus 1 divided by n plus 1. And a n plus 1 minus a n is therefore n plus 1 minus 1 divided by n plus 1 minus n minus 1 divided by n. Now let us simplify this expression for a n plus 1 minus a n. First we observe that n plus 1 minus 1 in the numerator of the first term is of course simply n. Therefore a n plus 1 minus a n equals n divided by n plus 1 minus n minus 1 divided by n. We can add these two fractional expressions and we get n squared minus n plus 1 times n minus 1 and that divided by n times n plus 1. Now the numerator simplifies. n plus 1 times n minus 1 is simply n squared minus 1. Therefore the numerator is n squared minus n squared minus 1 the denominator remains at n times n plus 1. But the, in the numerator, n squared and negative of n squared cancel out, and we simply have minus minus 1, that is 1. We conclude that a n plus 1 minus a n is simply 1 divided by n times n plus 1. Now n is a positive integer, therefore a n plus 1 minus a n is always positive, for all values of n. And this means that the sequence n minus 1 divided by n, n from 1, 2, 3 and so forth, is increasing. We say that a sequence a1, a2, a3 and so forth is monotonic if it is either increasing or decreasing. Furthermore, the sequence a1, a2, a3 and so forth is bounded if there are numbers capital case M and small case M such that small case M is at most a n and that is at most capital case M for all indices n. We have an important result which states that a bounded monotonic sequence always has a finite limit. Now to prove this result, that a bounded monotonic sequence always has a finite limit, observe first that it suffices to show that the theorem is true for increasing sequences a n. Namely, if the sequence a n is monotonic and not increasing, then it is decreasing. And if the sequence a n is decreasing, we consider in its stead the increasing sequence consisting of numbers negative a n. Now if the numbers a n are bounded then also the numbers negative of a n are bounded and the sequence or consisting of numbers negative a n is increasing 
if the sequence a n is decreasing. And therefore, if we can show that the numbers negative a n have a limit as n goes to the infinity, also the numbers a n have a limit. So we consider only increasing sequences a n. So we prove the theorem that says that a bounded monotonic sequence always has a finite limit. We prove it only for increasing sequences. By remarks made a moment ago, it suffices to do that. Therefore, let a1, a2, a3 and so forth be an increasing and bounded sequence. We mark the points a1, a2, a3 and so forth on the number line and these points a1, a2, a3 and so forth, they are all bounded. They have an upper bound which is denoted by this red dot on the number, number line. And these numbers a n grow as n grows. They remain, however, always on the left hand side of the red dot. Now the red dot is one upper bound for the set a n, but by the completeness of the set of real numbers, the set a n has among all of its upper bounds, the smallest upper bound. So we may take S to be the smallest upper bound of the set A n and let S now be this red dot. We will show that this number S is the limit of the sequence A n. So we claim that the sequence a n converges and that it has the limit s, which is the smallest upper bound for the set a n. So that's how we defined s. It is supremum of the numbers a n that is the smallest upper bound of that set. To prove this claim by the definition of the limits, we start by choosing an arbitrary positive number epsilon we have to find a number n epsilon such that whenever n is larger than n epsilon, the numbers a n are closer than the distance epsilon to this limit s. So if we can find a number n epsilon such that whenever n is larger than n epsilon, then the absolute value of a n minus s is less than epsilon, we are done. All right, so graphically this means that we have now chosen a positive number epsilon and we have marked these numbers a n on the number line. They all are on the left hand side of their supremum, the smallest upper bound, which is the red dot. We must find n epsilon so that whenever n is larger than n epsilon, then the numbers a n lie on the left hand side of the red dot anyway, but at most at the distance epsilon from the red dot. That is, they must lie on that part of the num number line indicated by the green line segment whose length is epsilon. So we claim that the supremum of the set a n is also the limit of the sequence a n. We need to use the definition of the supremum or the characterizing property of the supremum that is the smallest upper bound. Since s is the smallest upper bound of the set a n and epsilon is positive, the interval of length epsilon on the left hand side of s must contain elements of the set a n. Because if it doesn't, then s would not be the smallest upper bound. We could choose, for example, s minus epsilon over 2, and that would still be an upper bound. Therefore, we can find a number a n epsilon such that a n epsilon lies at a distance less than epsilon from the point s. 
that is the absolute value of a n epsilon minus s is less than epsilon. But now, since the sequence a n is increasing, it follows that whenever n is greater than n epsilon, then also a n is greater than or equal to a n epsilon. But all these a n's are at most s, therefore we have the double inequality a n epsilon is less than or equal to a n, which is on the other hand less than or equal to s. But now if the absolute value of a n epsilon minus s is less than epsilon, then certainly also the absolute value of a n minus s is less than epsilon. And this is always true if n is greater than n epsilon. Therefore, we have found such a number n epsilon having this desired property, and we have shown that the smallest upper bound for the elements of the set a n is also the limit of the sequence a n. So we have shown the theorem a bounded monotonic sequence always has a finite limit. Deep and important fact.